for This Tuesday we have our tea party meetings. And uh, you wanna you wanna see if you can make that, folks. Maybe after today's message you realize just how vital it is. Things are moving very, very rapidly here. And again, Judge Grindell is gonna be speaking uh, about the park system. Uh, you're going to have Commissioner Claypool. The Agenda 21 people are working. They're very shadowy people. They work behind the scenes. They're nameless uh, bureaucrats who pressure politicians to sell you up. And uh, their plans are not good. They're not good for us at all. Okay, This is pure communism. And you know what? If you don't fight it, you deserve it. Because we're at a time when you have to stand and fight. And if you don't, then you're going to fall, only because you failed to fight. Just think, had the Republican Party uh, fought so hard against Obama as they did uh, Cruz and Trump, we wouldn't have Obama. But they didn't, you see. And that's apathy and ignorance. Anyhow, we had some good things happen over the, uh, the weekend. We had, quite a, we had a good turnout for people on Saturday. Uh, at the uh, uh, Land Predators, and then also we were able to, Friday, we were able to get Kathy moved in, we got her moved, so we praise the good Lord for that, and she settled in, and it's been a, been a very active week for Kevin and I, I mean, it's pretty hard on Kevin because of his age. <laughs> I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> But we've been doing a lot of moving, boy, I'm going to tell you, when we got here last night, that van was filled to the very, very top, and uh, we had to unload it. Big Jim had to actually ride in the cargo space, a <laughs> little bitty place in the back that we put him in, okay. And we almost, by mistake, put him in the refrigerator while we were taking the meat out. But, uh, but we didn't, okay. <laughs> Anyhow, so it was quite a day. It was The good news was we did raise some money. We raised $1,300 yesterday. We praise the good Lord for that. We did that. And, uh, Josh is in here. We almost had two ties. We, we had one tie. We almost had two ties. When Josh gets here, I'll tell him. He, he only missed the very last vote. Just as we were taking in, Todd came in and voted. And uh, that would have been, or we would have had number number uh, three and number five would have been tied together. So, but they didn't. What was the winning number? Pardon? The winning number? One and two. two. One and two were tied. One and two were tied, yeah. Oh, wow. So, that was wow. Matthew and Coach Ed. How about that? was that? Coach Ed's first time, first time out of cooking, so that was close. Praise the Lord. Um, Mother's Day's coming up. Uh, and then the day before Mother's Day, we have the day before Mother's Day, we're going to have the uh, clean out. Oh yeah, the tea party. We're going to have the the young fellow you heard on the radio program. Boy, is he going to get an education because he he's I couldn't, he's, remember. Huh? I couldn't, I couldn't remember his name. Chad. Chad. Okay. He's going to be at the uh, he's for the uh, young Republicans at Kent State. He's the president. And boy, is he going to get. Uh, because over there they're involved with, they're not nearly, now he's a good good kid, I had a long talk with him very but he just was, like most of them, uh, pretty oblivious to everything that's going on. I mean, almost totally oblivious. So, what other announcements do we have coming up? Any time between now and then, except today. No other announcements? Okay. I'm at Purdue this week. Okay. Uh, he's at Purdue this week. And what? <laughs> no, no, not the chicken plug. Well, maybe. <laughs> okay. There will be a, a, a lot of clucks there. Oh. Uh, that the case? But anyhow, uh, so what day is he there? I leave uh, at noon tomorrow. I do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, drive back home that night. Well, I'd like to see. You ought to do the water squirrel boy there. 
and ask him some questions. You know what? The Waters World. You know what Waters World is? The Waters. It's where they ask these these college kids questions like uh, like who was Christopher Columbus? <laughs> and, uh, who was George Washington? Mark Dice does does that when you know when you're in California. Yeah. You know, they, uh, should 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 Al when Al Capone you know, with, with uh, for instance uh, he might ask him. Uh, 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 President Obama has, has uh, nominated Al Capone to be the uh, 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 to replace Scalia as a judge, as a chief, as a justice of the Supreme Court. Do you think that's a good choice? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I say yes. Well, they asked him. They, they, uh, yes. they asked him over there. Compared to what they got Columbus now, that might actually be a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> well, just like Danny Glover, he's campaigning for Bernie Sanders. You know, he told the people in Maryland that Maryland was the first state to succeed. The succeeded for the nation, I know. <laughs> and nobody in Maryland knows it yet. <laughs> when did they find out? They've had to pay all the federal taxes all these years and they didn't have to. All right. Well, yeah, I mean, folks, we're living in a very, very strange time, for sure. But. Pastor, you know they're on the internet.